the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love money and the fame. fame, fame. All right, guys, so in the last episode, we built our chicken coop, and we did a little more experimentation. Well, we had already built the coop, but we bought more fish. Uh, we bought more chickens, and we were seeing how much the eggs cost, and my chickens were still been laying eggs, and we did figure out how to make sure they're fed and not die. The first two had died when I woke up, but they didn't have enough food. Uh, I had to put food in there, or it's either water. Now we know, so I was going to do a, go sell some lumber. I've been out grinding. You see all this lumber, I grind it up. But what I wanna go ahead and do now is, I wanna take this chicken experiment to the next level. When you go into build mode, you have these slots. These are two more slots that you can build upon. And when you look to see what you can build, they're still all chicken coops. I said, okay, right now we can only build chicken coops. So what we're gonna do, I wanna build the medium and the large. So they have the small chicken coop and the medium. These two are basically the same. The medium is just a little bigger. I might've went ahead and built that. It'll hold eight hens, this one holds three. The big chicken coop holds 20 and there's a drawer for getting Getting your eggs easier so your chickens don't chase you. I've been dealing with that. My hens running after me. And then the premium one is just like overdosing on chicken coop. It say don't keep no more than 20, but it has an automated feed system for large containers is available. So, I mean, look at that. That like is massive. So we're gonna build this premium chicken coop, but what we're gonna do now, we're gonna start with this big one. And then I'm gonna demolish this one. I'm gonna move some chickens over here. And since it's only three slots, we'll have the medium, we'll have the big, and then we'll have the premium. And we'll see what the difference in all of those are, all right? So this is going to be a little experimental. So I'm going to go ahead and I got 500. We're going to build this big chicken coop. Okay, I got to remove the grass and an obstacle first. Alrighty then. So let's get out of build mode. And one thing, I don't know if this happened because the game didn't save or because I didn't have enough room in the coop. But two of the chickens I bought, I bought a white one and a black one to go with this yellow one. They're they're gone. When I woke up, and I know I saved it because I went to sleep and saved before we stopped the game. So I don't know if it's because you leave the door open and I got to make sure I close it at night or what. But just be aware of that. So we're going to cut this grass around this tree. And then we're going to chop the tree down. Actually, let's chop the tree down first. Let go on and chop that tree down. Let's move this. We'll put this right now. Bam. Oh, I fell on our coop too. It fell on our coop. And so we're just gonna place this wood and we'll stack this up and we'll go chop it in a minute. Alright, cool. We're gonna cut that grass. Mowing the lawn. Mowing the lawn. We're mowing the lawn on our farm. Blang nigga blang nigga blang 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 blang. It would be cool too if you could maybe uh, put a, a grass catcher on here and use that for fertilizer or even sell the grass, you know. I, I play Farm Simulator too. I'm an old country boy. I play Farm Simulator as well, so yeah, it would be great if we could do that. And if they go ahead and incorporate a few more of those elements. Alright guys, so I went ahead and I cut the grass basically around both sections. Now, I don't know if the grass grows back. If it grows back, we're going to have to cut it again. Uh, but for now, I just went ahead and cut the grass around both sections and we'll part our grass cutter right here. Park that line mower, bam. And we're gonna stand up. I don't know why we are crouching. So now we're gonna go back to build mode. So yes, we're gonna start with our big coop. Bam! We have built the big coop. And let's see how much that extra compartment costs. Oh, feeding troughs. Oh, pretty cool. So you put the feeding troughs up here. And let's see how much. The feeding troughs are 100 apiece. Now, I really don't want to use all my money, but hopefully I'm not going to run out of gas or anything. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna go ahead and build them. Bam. So we built the double feeding troughs. Now, how do we put the chickens in? Okay, so let's go back to our hand. Okay. Ah, so this is where you open the door. Oh, look at that. Look at that. All right, so we're gonna put our chickens in here. Let me pick you up. Place you in there. 
close close that up. Let's get our rooster. Come on, rooster. Maybe when we start our chickens, we'll start them here in this small one. That is really going to be the medium one eventually. But And you the hen. What's up there, hen? Uh, they be trying to come out. Nah. Now, I might have me some free-range chickens at some point. Uh, but for now, not. Also, as, as relate to the whale, I went and bought the bucket for the whale. I bought two buckets. You could have used this bucket that the game starts with but I didn't realize that so that's just something to know for the future alright oops uh, fill it with water oh did I pour the water in there there it is okay so you can fill that up it looks like with about four bucketfuls maybe three I got out okay so I guess you can let them out and let them free roam I guess that'll give you an opportunity to go get the eggs all right, we're going to put this one in here. So we're going to keep them nice and fed. This is a nice chicken coop, though. All right, the hen is in there. We're going to close them up. I'm going to leave them be. And I'm going to go sell these eggs. Okay, so we got three fertilized eggs. Now, I moved the chickens from this coop, right, the small coop. Now, what I, one thing I'm wondering, these are three fertilized eggs. How does that work? We really don't know. I'm putting this fertilized egg in here with the mother. In fact, I'm going to put it down here. Eh, we'll keep it kind of real. I put it right there to the left. So we're going to see if that one hatches first. All right, so I went ahead and went to bed. It was getting really dark. And let's see, it's poop. All right, oh, poop. Oh, we got a little chick. Okay, so it did hatch. So it doesn't have to stay with the mother. The little chick did hatch. Look at that. We got our first little chick. Oh, what's up, that little chick? I'm going to pick you up. We're going to put you in here with your mommy. We putting the little chick in there with the mommy. Can I reach the poop? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they make you be, your, it's like really extended how far you can reach. Stay in, little chick. Ah, oh, dog on it. And what do I do with that poop I just picked up? Like, for reals. So we just hatched our first chick. That is nice. So this one should hatch too probably tomorrow. I got one, two, three, four, five eggs. That's only 30 bucks. That's okay. Hopefully they'll automate this more. And even with cutting the lumber, hopefully they'll automate it a lot more. We taking it nice and slow with our progression. So I'm gonna go deliver these eggs, make a little money. I'm gonna probably sell a little bit of this lumber to be honest, but we'll do the actual experiment in another episode, all right? See y'all in a minute. Oh. Oh, glitch. All right, guys. So I was going to go sell the eggs. I was going to put the basket because you can stack things. If you put the basket on this lumber, crank up and then drive off. Look at that. The basket does not stay. The basket does not stay. Okay, I just wanted to show you the jerry can does the same thing. The funny thing is I drove this up here with it on here like this from the uh, the woodcutting area. I drove it and it stayed. But now since I'm by the farm, it doesn't stay on. Okay, there it is. You see that? It stayed that time. Okay, let's try it again. Maybe you got to be on the grass. Maybe because I was on the road, the game doesn't detect properly or something. So let's try it right here. Okay, okay. I think it has to do with the grass, and I think it has to do with detection. So I put it on the grass, moved the car on the grass, and it picked it up fine. So just be aware of that. Just be aware of that. All right, so I'm going to head on over here, sell these eggs, sell that lumber, get a little change, and we'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm selling wood planks. They only sell for a dollar a piece. So that's only $3. So that is not a good uh, return rate. All right, guys, so I did some grinding, uh, did some hunting, actually made a hunting video, so y'all will be able to see that coming up. But I saved up enough money now that we can get the big coop and continue on with our experiment. Now, check this out. A few days have passed. From what I see, it's about three to four days that it takes for the chicken to mature. Not exactly sure if it was three or four. We're going to say three, but it was either three or four days. If we go inside... 
uh, the, this coop here you see we got three new mother hens all of this I didn't buy any of these all of this was just from them maturing on their own got a lot of poop I think it said only about eight should be in here so and then we got three little chicks we got three mother hens we got three little chicks and from what I gather fertilized eggs stay inside the coop and then in the drawers you'll get the non fertilized ones that you can sell so I'm gonna keep this stock with food. I bought more bags of food. I don't know, right now probably because of this early access, it doesn't really make a difference if you don't clean the poop. But you know, we're gonna just do it anyway to try to keep it as real as possible. And I'm pretty sure if I grab one of these eggs that mama hen gonna come at me. Now, I haven't seen a rooster birth yet. Right now they've been all hens. Hopefully a rooster will be birthed. And then we can move that rooster to this next uh, coop that we're gonna build. I still have the small one. So once they get too big, I'm gonna put a few in here Well, actually we're gonna break this down for eight and make this one a medium So let's see if we can build this premium coop this time. I cut the grass. So it should work. Bam All right, we got the premium coop Let's see what we can build here. What is this system? Okay feeding trough all right, bam, there are the feeding troughs. Now we got to figure out how we get the food in the feeding troughs. Okay, we open the door there. Oh, wow. Okay, and we got to see where we collect the eggs. Oh, that's very intricate. I don't know which one I would like more, this premium or this one. Because this works well and it has the drawers. For the eggs, I kind of like just having the drawers. And how do I get the food in here? Oh, yeah. I got to come in here for the food. Oh, I dumped the food out. Doggone it. I did not mean to do that. I dumped the food on the ground, so that's basically over with. I'm going to just go ahead and remove this. Let's go ahead and get some water. My clicking and my E, man, we get mixed up. Filled it with water. I'm gonna go ahead and do a second dose of water. So this apparently runs out of water. So it's only a temporary fix. And I'm not sure how this automated feeding system works. I'm not sure where you put the chickens. I'm gonna assume we just put them in here. I'm gonna take a hen out of here. Oh, they got a lot of eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and take a hen out of here and move it. We got a lot of mother hens. I wanna see how this works. Okay, yeah, now I've seen this before where you have all of the chickens there. But yeah, we gotta see where you collect the eggs from. The auto feeding system is okay. I would rather be able to get the eggs out of these drawers. That's very convenient. That's very convenient. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna take this chick and put, put this chick in here too. All right, so we have two hens in this one and two chicks, and then I put two hens and two chicks in this one. I just need a rooster. So I'm gonna go get a rooster and then we will see how that's looking. And I'm probably gonna make a second one of these unless I see something that really makes me like this one where I can get access to the eggs. I'm just gonna make another one of these, uh, the large coop because that one is better. I tear this one down and I make a large coop. All right guys, so we're here at our premium chicken coop and look at them down here feeding and stuff. Oh, we got some floating poop. I gotta get in there and get. The, ch the premium chicken coop, I'm, I'm up in the air about it. So I like this big chicken coop better because it has the drawers. I'm going to say that again. I like it because it has the drawers for your eggs. And they seem to automatically filter out the eggs. Uh, the ones that are fertilized stay inside. The ones that aren't fertilized that we can go sell stay outside. In here, there is no like filtering system. So I don't really see what the benefit is other than like the eggs are right up here. So when the chickens are down here, then um, you can go ahead and get the eggs without being impeded. But the drawers are way more convenient. I don't even have to go inside like this. 
And if I did have a uh, rooster in there, then the rooster would be, you know, fertilizing them. And then I would be getting attacked. So I don't have to worry about getting attacked with that other one. So that's basically the best reason you just don't have to worry about getting attacked. Now, one way around that is to just not put a rooster in this premium one. I think that's the smartest thing to do. So have a non-premium one, the big one, have the rooster in there. And then have the premium one with just hens and then move all your chicks over there. And then as they continue to grow, that also keep them from not over populating this coop. Now look at this, we got a lot of eggs in here. So you can start to earn money. But again, you're just gonna have to do it very manual over here, which kind of stinks versus not being so manual over this way. It's a little more, this one feels a little more automated to me uh, because of the drawers. So that's my take on the coop. Again, I think this one is great because you even got this whole thing right here, but for why? It would be dope if there was like a staircase here and then we could climb up here and then there was like a big drawer with all of the chicken eggs or a way to reach into these shelves. That's what they need to do, have a way to get to these shelves. If the devs are watching, update this and give us a way to access the eggs like this one where we don't have to get in and don't have to worry about getting attacked. What's the point of a premium coop that you get attacked, okay? All right, guys, so cool. Uh, we're happy about that. Let me know in the comment box what you think. Would you do the big premium, the big coop or the premium coop? Uh, the premium coop looks cool and it has the staircase and all of that. But again, you got to worry about coming in here, getting attacked if you have a rooster in there. And then every time you come in, your chickens are going to be escaping versus this one where you don't really have to worry about that. All right. All right, guys. So I wanted to put this egg cell in here. So we'll see what we make off this nice little basket of eggs. This will add to our monetations. And let me look at it. Look at all those eggs I collected. Collected a lot of those from that premium coop. Let's go over here and sell. 27 eggs, 162. Okay, not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go on and get our basket. All right, guys, so yes. Yeah, so hit me in that comment box. Let me know what you think about the different size coops and which one you think you'll be using. Which one do you prefer? Again, I think the premium needs some, some uh, modifications. If the devs modify it, I think it could be the number one, but it definitely needs an access point where you don't get attacked to get the eggs. It's not premium if I have to worry about getting attacked. Uh, when I'm trying to retrieve my egg. So, yes, if the devs correct that, it'll be on. Um, other than that, we're going to do the big, or we're going to go with the big. We'll make a second one of those. And um, I think even with the fact that I have to feed it, I would rather have to continue, you know, feeding them manually because that's just, you know, dumping in the water and the feed versus the auto system. Unless the auto system is just that great. And if that's the case, they're going to need a second premium with drawers <laughs> where I can access getting my eggs i mean you you have to have that like there's just no point in not having an access point uh, to getting those eggs all right all right guys charles macro rant simulator we'll be back in the next one and we're gonna do the barn oh and guys hit that like button make sure you like make sure you subscribe share this so others can check this out guys and let me know again what you think in that comment box all right charles macro rant simulator thank you for stopping through and i'm gonna holla at you Peace. I wanted to thank you one more time for supporting Charles Macro and the Macro Elite. You are elevating your logic, your intellect, and your thinking every day. Now, if you want to support, there are other ways that you can do so. So check out this little promo and it'll tell you some ways that you can truly be down. And thank you once again. And for you guys that want to support further, go to charlesmacro.com slash shop. There you can buy t-shirts, you can buy other merch like coffee mugs, onesies, bargains, caps. You also can support by buying and checking out my music. I have the I Run The Game album that is out on all the digital retailers, the iTunes, the Spotify's. And in fact, if you're on Spotify, go on there, I Run The Game, the album, Charles Macro Music, look that up and add me to a playlist, all right? That will help me get up on the charts as well and earn money off that music if you're feeling it like you're feeling the intro, okay? And go subscribe to the new Charles Macro Music channel, all right?
you also can hit my Amazon affiliate links down below. You don't have to buy any of those products. Just click the link, then buy whatever you were planning to buy. That helps me get a little love, okay? Then we have Patreon, Cash App, YouTube membership program. I'm gonna be getting subscribe star soon if you wanna support that way. Of course, I'm on IG, Twitter, Discord, Facebook, any of those social medias you wanna follow me on, see some other things, some pictures, some, some regular life stuff, my photography business, uh, video, go on, on there, follow, like, subscribe, share. Thank you guys once again just for the support. Charles Macro, thank you for stopping through, and I'm gonna holla at you. Peace. I run the game. I run the game. I run the, I run the macro, my name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love money and the fame.